Hey, what's going on guys? Eric Zubik coming more of the Goofs. We're nearly halfway in as of right now. Ow, but there's still more to be done. On this week, the seasons change, of course. Thomas Terrence and the Snow. Otherwise known in the US as Terrence the Tractor, obviously. The seasons have changed, as I said. Autumn to winter. We're still covering the Goofs. Let's do it. Autumn had come to the island of Sodor. The fields were changing from yellow stubble to brown earth. And the tractor was hard at work as Thomas puffed on. Yeah, right. There's two goofs. One, he was actually slacking off when Thomas passed by. And also, there's, there's grass left behind. That field has not been plowed when he passed. Next goof, Thomas is missing Annie and Clarabelle. Well, in this scene, to be specific. Also, bit of an eye gap issue on the left eye. How do you pass by somebody, Audie, twice? You literally just saw him plowing not too long ago. Now you're heading back over? Later, Thomas. Also, that field was not plowed when Terrence plowed through it and on the previous pass by. Tractor close by. Hello, said the tractor. I'm Terrence. I am plowing. I'm Thomas. I'm pulling a train. What ugly wheels you've got. They're not ugly. They're caterpillars, said Terrence. Yeah, a.k.a. Terrence the Crooked Tracker, who missed a spot. Yeah, just notice that now. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. I don't want to go anywhere, said Thomas. I like my rails. Thank you. Oh. The help shape's a bit off, by the way. I mean, it's flat green. And now the hill shape is completely different. Nice set design change. Not. Winter came with dark clouds full of snow. I don't like it, said Thomas's driver. A heavy fall is coming. I hope it doesn't stop us. Huh, said Thomas. Soft stuff, nothing to it. And he put... I'm feeling cold but confident. Yeah, correction, narrator. He didn't puff. Said Thomas, soft stuff, nothing to it. He didn't really puff. He slid for a, like half a second. I mean, I can imagine, I can imagine his inner engine going, "Wee! These reels are pretty slick, but I'm loving, loving the fact that I don't have to move my wheels." For real, ill dude. He puffed on, feeling cold but confident. Wait a minute, Thomas was also missing Annie and Clarabelle in the previous scene as well. I feel like a lot of close-ups tend to do that. They finished their journey safely, but by now the country was covered. Yeah, you say the country's covered, uh, then why is there very light snowfall on the, tr on the ground? Ah, uh, yes, this, the, the, uh, oh, there's a possibility we might see the end of the set. And as well. Now for the nasty news. You'll need your snowplow for the next journey, Thomas, said his driver. <laughs> Snow is silly soft stuff. It won't stop me. The snowplow was heavy and uncomfortable and made Thomas cross. He shook it and he banged it and when they got back it was... Apparently, in the right eye that got very wonky for Thomas. Now, little kitties, innuendo warning. Warning, just saying. So damaged that the driver had to take it off. You're a very naughty engine. With very, 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 very infinity 
wonky eyes. You really think we're going to miss that? Nice try. He said to Thomas. Next morning, Thomas's driver and fireman came early and worked hard to mend the snowplow. Pay attention. There's a freight car are beside Thomas. They couldn't make it fit. Now there's a now it's replaced with a brake van. Thomas was pleased. I shan't have to wear it. I shan't have to wear it. He puffed to Annie and Clarabelle. But they were rather worried. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right, they whispered to each other. The driver was worried. Oh yeah, I forgot to point out the end of the set. Head, of course. Or it's my bad for not doing it earlier. It's not bad here, he said to the fireman, but it's sure to be deep in the valley. Silly soft stuff, puffed Thomas. Oh my god, the end of the set. Well, a different end of set to be specific. Now I see why they didn't zoom it out like like that during uh, Percy Runs Away. You'll see why, why we get there. Here. I didn't need that stupid old thing yesterday, and I shan't today. Snow can't stop me. So you say. He rushed into a tunnel thinking how clever he was, but there was trouble ahead. Cinders and ashes, said Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. Back, Thomas. Way, wow, 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 Hold I'm up. stuck. And he was. Up. Back. Up. You, wait, he just crashed in the snow. Now the snow's all cleared? God, these backgrounds. They don't know how to cope with the sets. Thomas, back, said his driver. Thomas tried, but his wheels spun and he couldn't move. The guard went back for help while everyone else tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. Oh, my wheels and coupling rods. I shall have to stop here till I'm frozen. What a silly engine I am. And Thomas began to cry. Oh, don't let me hear you crying. I'll give you something to cry about. Wait. Time out. Out. Oh, we have a goof. Oh, there's a goof. There's no light in the lantern. This actually happens quite a bit, at FYI. You'll hear what I mean later on. At last, a bus came to rescue the passengers. And then, who should come to Thomas's rescue but Terence? Snow never worries him. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on, hold on. Is that Annie's faceplate? Oh my god, that really looks like Annie. He's in the back of the train. It should be Clarabelle. He pulled the empty coaches away, then came back for Thomas. Thomas's wheels were clear, but still spun when he tried to move. Huh. Terence tugged and slipped and slipped and tugged, and at last dragged Thomas clear of the snow, ready for the journey home. Keep your eye on this next goof. Yeah, how did that snow melt off of Thomas that fast? Yes, I mean, he was piled in it. And, and now it all... All dusted away? Thank you, Terence. Your caterpillars are splendid, said Thomas. I hope you'll be sensible now, Thomas, said his driver. I'll try, said Thomas, and he puffed humbly away. Well, that he did, technically. And that's the end of the story. If you like this video, don't forget to like, like, Leave a comment down below if any goofs were missed. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will see you guys next week where 
where a epic sport will be happening. Until then, this has been Eric Zubik signing off for now. All aboard!